Hi everyone, so today's video is a little bit different. Um, what I'm going to be doing is showing some still shots of some scrapbooking pages that I've created over the years. And we're starting with my early scrapbooking and then we'll progress through to um, some things that I've created in the last 12 months. Um, so the reason I wanted to do this was to really highlight the fact that uh, people's scrapbooking styles and also they're just their creative um, projects, any sort of creative projects that you do, uh, tend to evolve over time. And one of the reasons that it does evolve, you, you know, you um, master techniques and things like that, new products become available. But one of the major things that's happened for me is that I've been influenced by other people. So you can see in some of my earlier um, scrapbooking pages, I... Um, spread the photos out, I don't use a lot of embellishment, my background papers have a lot of pictures on them or I have very themed sort of um, projects so you know this one is very much uh, about my son and so a lot of sort of kitty embellishments and things like that uh, on the pages. So You'll see as the um, the still shots progress that my style does change. This one even, for example, I start using a lot of papers to layer behind the photos. I start thinking about, you know, three areas of um, embellishment, even though it's just uh, little chipboard pieces on this one in particular. Um, but really, I guess what I wanted to do was acknowledge the fact that, uh, you know, your style is influenced by what you're exposed to. And for me, a lot of that has been uh, watching videos on YouTube and really enjoying um, other people's process videos and seeing what works for them and trying to incorporate the things that I like into my style. So... Um, one of the reasons I wanted to do this video was really because I've been asked uh, by a few subscribers uh, whether I have any other sort of social media channels where I can share the projects that I've created. And um, I have to say at this stage, no, um, I, I don't have an Instagram account and, um, and I haven't sort of, you know, put any of my projects on Facebook or anything like that. But I sort of started to wonder, you know, maybe if this is something I should explore. Originally, I was thinking about an Instagram account where I can just upload photos um, and put the titles in there. And, um, you know, that would be way easier than scrapbooking and doing process videos. Um, but I felt like it would be a bit of a one-way street where I was sharing my uh, layouts and and creative processes or creative you know products at the end but I wasn't going to be able to see what other people were doing and you know I think that that's a huge part of developing as a um, as a scrapbooker is to actually get to see the things that other people are doing and I like watching all sorts of um, videos process videos not just scrapbooking or card making um, but you know any kind of creative uh, process at all because you can learn from them and take techniques and ideas and put that into your creative projects that you're working on. So what I wanted to do was use this video as a, um, I guess, a launch for a Facebook page that I've created um, or a Facebook group that I've created that I would really like to um, you know, bring about a community of crafters, paper crafters, who can share their projects, um, ask questions, uh, share ideas or hauls, you know, places that they got great products that they'd like to share with the group. Um, and so I'm really asking you to join me in this community. I'm going to include a link below to uh, the group and I'd really appreciate it if you are interested in, um, you know, connecting with like-minded paper crafters to come along this journey with me. So, um, you know, as you can see, this is sort of more of my recent, um, some of my recent layouts and uh, Chamel uh, has been a huge influence on my more recent scrapbooking um, particularly I've purchased a couple of her uh, paper pads and have really enjoyed using them and love the colors I really connect with the colors that she is inspired by um, and so you'll see a few of these sort of later layouts are really um, 
very sort of similar to her style and then I'll I'll pick up on someone else on YouTube that I'm really enjoying and I'll follow their their style or their way of doing things as well so I'd really like to see the work that you're doing because I'd love to be able to take bits and pieces of that and incorporate it into my style um, and hopefully we can share a whole heap of paper crafting ideas together so um, please do join us the link will be below um, give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it if you haven't already subscribe to my channel if you want to see more of my process videos and um, I hope to see you on the Facebook page really soon thanks for watching